Good morning riders. Uh, today I've got something a little bit different. I've ordered some carbon fibre vinyl and a precision blade set and I'm planning to do a couple of light enhancements on a couple of the panels on the back. I've taken two off to do inside. Uh, the two I want to do I'm not sure how to take off and I don't want to break anything so I'm going to wait for a dry day and wrap them on the bike. I'm not a professional vinyl wrapper. <laughs> Well, I'm going to give it a good go and I'm going to just film it and see what happens. Um, I've also ordered a brand new white tyre paint pen. I don't know if you remember from the last videos. Um, the one I used was just awful. I ran out after just doing like one word on one tyre and two letters on another tyre. That, that's all it was good for. So I've ordered a new one and it costs like eight quid. So I'm hoping for that price it's going to work. Also, there's a special guest. There's a special guest appearance as well on this on this video. Um, it's cute, it's awesome, I think you'll like it. Um, and also, my, my not last video, the one before, the cleaning one, the long one, the hour long video. Um, I said in the video that I'd put links in the description to every product I've used. I didn't get around to doing that, and by the time I uploaded the video, it was quite late and it took me all day. Then I forgot to put the links on in the description. And I wasn't sure if I was able to go back and edit it and add link, links to the description. Um, so I apologised for that in the video after, but then figured out that I could go back and put links in the description. So I've gone back and I've put links to everything I use in my cleaning video in the description. So apologies for that, but it's all sorted now. Um, a chap called Ian Webster recommended I get an L plate for the front. Thank you very much for that mate. I've done that now, that's on the bike. Appreciate your advice. I wasn't so sure if you had to have one on the front, as long as you were just displaying an L plate somewhere on the back, mine's on the back under the number plate, that would be fine, but no, cheers Ian, thanks for that meter. Uh, that's it, that's it, stay tuned. <laughs>
carbon fiber because the part on the bike that I'm wrapping is matte in color and I do like the uh, the contrast between the gloss red and the matte even though I do think these are a bit plain and boring I would still like to keep them matte matte in color because I think that works well um, some isoprop isopropanol cleaning fluid I think I said that right I'm just going to spray these down remove any grease or wax or polish I might have put on them and I've cleaned the bike and obviously the cloth is to wipe them down and clean them that's so this can stick properly um, precision blade with you know with some new tips obviously the parts themselves girlfriend's hair dryer cheers babe I recommend using a heat gun but I'm just going to use a hair dryer and that's where we're going to go so let's get to it Right, so I'm pretty much finished wrapping these side panels. Um, I'm nowhere like a professional, I don't even claim to be. Uh, but I'm happy with them, you know. I'm quite happy with them. Let me push that corner down. You see it just there. I'll address that. But I think these are going to look absolutely brilliant on the bike. Really happy with them. It's got a bit of a crease in there. Sound as. Kind of a fetal with these for another five minutes. But yeah, overall, for an amateur, I'm really pleased with that. See this little guy, look. I've got some spare wheels in the garden, I found him wedged behind him on the floor, I don't have any idea how he got there. But Jackson found him, he alerted us to him didn't you boy? I think maybe the weather's got to this bird. So I've put it in some water, in case it was thirsty and hot, put a plate of water out, I'll give it some bread. It's not a snack, Jackson. Okay, you rescued it. No, you're not. You can't rescue it then eat it. Oh, poor little guy. This guy seems quite happy to be chilling. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. Oh, I don't know what to do for the best with, with birds, you know. I hope it's not cold in that water. Shaking, but it could be scared, couldn't it? Yeah. It's just met the news of a big, massive lurcher or something. <laughs> yeah. <Christ. laughs> oh, bless it. You're not in trouble, mate. That's Jackson crying because he's not the centre of attention for once. Shut up! More to get. The poorly bird out here. 
Anyway, we'll update you if anything changes. Go on, dude. Hey, go on. Had a rough night. Thinking about it. You might have to make bird noises like it. <laughs> you might have to go. <laughs> it looked like it was taking it a minute ago, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> he struck his nose with bread. Oh. Go on, mate. I'm so, I'd feel so much better if you had something to eat. You might just be enjoying the water coming off it. We've wet the bread. Yeah. I know if it eats, it's okay. That's normally how it goes with animals, isn't it? I think so. Mm. Right, we'll update you accordingly. Go on, boy. He's speaking. Aww. Go on, dude. Go on, you can do it. Well, if I stand up higher, it will give it a sense of like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Come in. Bit of air. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, leave it in bread. You're gonna fly, mate. Oh. <laughs> Trying to get it going. I don't know if it's too young to fly. Look, there's a big one. I wonder if it's from over there. Let's take it closer. You're not ready, are you, mate? Eh? Got some growing to do. You have. What are we going to do with you then? What are we going to do? I don't know. I've got a feeling it belongs in there. Looks like you're bunking with us, mate. Update, we now have a pet bird. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cool, look at him. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it some water and some bread and see how we get on. I'm going to make a little nest for it. And hopefully it just picks up some strength and flies away out the window. I'll leave the window open. This is his new crib. Lives at number 69. Move in there. I'm gonna give him overnight. We'll see what see if he's still there in the morning. Hopefully he's not. Hopefully come the morning he's he's flown away. But I know nine times out of ten that these situations they don't look good, do they? You know. But you, you, the right thing to do is try, innit? You, know? you can't just leave them out there. The right thing to do is try. So we'll see what he's saying in the morning. He's calling out. Go on. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. Please. Or a cat's gonna come and have you. Please just fly away.
Go on. Go on. Come on, go back to your home. Come on, mate. Well done, dude. I can still see. Can you see him? Yeah. He's hopping away. Yeah. I think he's trying to get in that tree. Oh, he will. Oh, he's thinking about flying. Look, go on. Oh, he's thinking about it. Come on, you can do it. You're so close to home. Come on, mate. He's in. He's in. He flew in. Yes. That's nice. Nice, nice, nice. He didn't even pay my rent, actually. In that, he's in that crib for ages. I don't know how this is going to turn out because I'm not the greatest at vinyl wrapping and this looks like a really awkward piece. Just want to make sure I get all that, well, any kind of grease and oil off and any old car cleaning products. That might stop the vinyl from sticking properly. It looks like it just pulls off, but I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I don't see how else you'd get that off. So there's one side done. Hold on, try and get this to focus. There we are. I'm gonna know I'm not professional. Probably do with a little bit of a. Oh no, that's just the way the light's shining. What's that? I don't think I've done bad though. Really. Quite like that. Quite, right, let's do the other side. Right, so the, the pen I went for this time is a car point, it's from car point. Um, Seven pound ninety nine. It feels empty though. <laughs> hope this one, hope this one works. But we'll give this one a try. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna get to it now. I'm gonna fast forward this, but you ain't gotta sit through me and painstakingly watch me colour each letter in. But um, step one, anyway, the all important step one. Jackson! <laughs> yeah. It's step one, isn't it, mate? Who is this? Who is this? Come here. Come here. Right, step one complete. Let's go on. Jackson, be a good boy. Are you a good boy? <laughs> yeah, you are. So here we are then. Here's the bike. My, my writing skills. I'm not. Hold on. Look at that. How nice does that look? I'm well happy with this. The white tire, the white writing on the tires, to me, make a massive difference. It kind of goes with the. You know that that Lexmoto logo in the middle. It kind of just takes the white, the white writing all the way through. Absolutely chuffed to bits. And how nice does that carbon panel look? Up there. You know, I was going to do the knee pads uh, on the sides of the tank, but I quite like the matte black in places, and I didn't want to get rid of a lot of it. I still wanted it to be matte black as part of the main colour. And I think just them two bits I've done. Are spot on. Well, chuff about they've turned out as well, you know. But well, the writing on the tyres, I mean, it's not the neatest. It, it looks way better on camera than it is actually in person. But I'm still so chuffed about how it looks. I love them. I love that at the front. What a nice touch. I'm so glad they decided to do that. I'll put links to everything I've used in the description. So if you want to give it a go yourself, you can. I'm so chuffed. It's the little things, isn't it, that make the biggest difference to, well, you know, to me. I think now that is a neat looking bike. Not that it wasn't to begin with, but... Whoa, look. Look. Ooh. Chuffed, wall chuffed. Let's get some action shots in. Bloody hell right, <laughs> I've just found this filter on my phone, how good do they look in pink? <laughs> what? Look at that, that's, that's tempting. What do you think Jackson, do you like it in pink? Huh? Whoa. I'm a big fan of that, big time fan of that. Anyway, action shots.
Yeah, right. So as as I've said before, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you could leave a like, that would be awesome, and uh, a subscribe would be above awesome. Um, I am planning to do a few more modifications to the bike. Um, I would like an aftermarket exhaust on there, and I'm going to look into what other things I can do to the bike. And I need to look into what I can and can't do that will void the warranty because I want to try and make these videos to show people what you can do but still keep your warranty because if you're anything like me you can't leave anything alone for, for too long before you, you want to play with it, pull it to bits and, and make it your own. I wouldn't say make it better because everyone has their own view on what's better um, but uh, I, I just love tinkering and playing and, 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 and for me improving and making things look a bit better in my opinion. Uh, I love the carbon, the carbon fibre vinyl. That looks, that looks better than I than I thought it would look. Um, and the white writing on the tyres really make the the whole bike. To be fair, it just kind of, I don't know, it just makes the whole bike look really good. So there are two things I'm really glad I've done. Um, I'm going to look into exhausts. I want to, I want to, I don't want a loud screaming exhaust. I just want mine something of a bit, a bit of a deeper tone. But yeah, this is just a, a thank you, another thank you at the end of a video to say, you know, I appreciate. People who are watching, people that comment. That was it, actually. That's what I wanted to say. The the, the writing on the tyres, it might look good in the videos, but it's not neat. And I've tried and tried to get it to get it neat. If anyone's got any tips on how I could get that neat, please let me know because I'll do it again. It it, it, would just, it would just bug me from now on, knowing it's not absolutely perfect. But I tried and tried, and that is what it is is the best I can do with the information I've got on how to use it. You know, so. If anyone's got any tips, I'd love that, especially for getting dead close to the edges of the lettering without it bleeding over. Um, yeah, I'd be really grateful. But again, thanks for watching, riders, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.